So what's up guys? Uh, I'm here at the state capitol in Sacramento. You can't really see it over the Yes California banner. But uh, I am actually here with uh, Louis Marinelli. I'm also here with Marcus Ruiz Evans. I'm here with um, Ed Diggs. I'm here with... Um, and I'm here with, uh, I forgot his last name, but Theo. Uh, and uh, we're here with everybody and stuff like that, just having a good time. And uh, so essentially, uh, we're just talking about, yes, California, bringing awareness to people. And uh, so it's going pretty well. And I'm going to actually have Marcus Ruiz Evans talk about, yes, California. So I am here with Marcus Rees Evans. Uh, Marcus, would you please uh, tell the, my audience and essentially the people that may not know it, uh, what is Yes California? Uh, thanks for asking. Uh, thanks for letting me be here today. Uh, we're out here in front of the Capitol today uh, to talk about the mission of Yes California. And largely it's, it's this. California would be off better, much better off. Um, if it was independent from America. Now, I know that's a bold statement, and some people are like, whoa, what are you saying? But we have a lot of facts to prove it. If you go to yescalifornia.org, we have a book, 160 pages, 166 citations. Everything's backed up. The truth is this, and this is what most Californians don't know, and that's that California is a donor state. What that means is that everybody pays federal income tax. In California, we pay about for every dollar of federal income tax we give, we only get 75 cents in services. So you pay federal income taxes, it goes to DC, they come back and they give money to pay for military, social security, schools, etc. We only get 75 cents on the dollar. 35 states, as in 35 states, get a dollar 25. That extra 25 cents that they get comes from you. You pay for them to have better schools and roads than you. Now, for a very long time, if you lived in California, you kind of noticed that things seem to be crumbling, falling apart. We have the worst roads and the worst schools in all of America, according to the federal government. And yet, they allow, or they insist, that we pay for 35 other states to have roads and schools better than California. Is that fair? that 35 states get to have schools and roads better than you and that you pay for them to do this. Now the other thing is that that's not a fluke. This isn't just, oh, this just happened this year. It's gone on 30 years. 30 years, as in 30 years. Most people don't get that. That means it's a permanent form of organizational dynamic. The paradigm is not going to shift. It's gonna stay the same. So if you like having the worst roads and schools, dams, seaports, and airports in all of America, and you feel that it's okay for you to pay for other states to be able to provide better for their children and their own lives, then don't do anything. Stay quiet, don't talk about how California is a donor state, and certainly don't tell anybody to go to yescalifornia.org. But if you don't think that's fair, and if you've ever seen America make fun of California, joke about us, the skit, the Californians on SNL, where we're all portrayed as complete zombie-like idiots, or simply type in on Google, America hates California. Don't listen to me. Type that in on Google right now. Type in America hates California and read the multiple pages of comments from regular Americans about how they think about you. Now I'd like to ask you a question, and I know you can't give me the answer, but you can answer for yourself. What kind of relationship is it where someone insults another person, doesn't like them, and yet takes money out of their wallet all the time for 30 years? Is that healthy behavior or what you would know at more commonly as an abusive relationship? If you answer yes to that question, then you're answering yes to us. And that's basically all it's about.